Okay, welcome to Lecture Online. And yes, there is yet one other way in which we can solve systems of linear equations. And this method is called Kramer's Rule. And it uses determinants. So it's a form of matrices, but instead of using the matrix method, we're going to use the determinant method, and we use Kramer's Rule. So we have two linear equations. We want to solve for x and y so that x and the values for x and y will satisfy those two equations simultaneously. It's the solution where the two lines cross. And so to find the x value, we take the determinant sub x divided by the determinant. And to find the y value, we find the determinant sub y divided by the determinant. And of course, what are those things? What is d? What is d sub x? What is d sub y? Well, d you already know how to find. That's called the determinant of the matrix of the coefficients of the variables in the equation. But in other words, we can take the matrix using the coefficients of the variables. So that would be 1, minus 1, 2, and 1, like so. And then we find the determinant of that. And of course, the determinant of that matrix is going to be equal to the product of those two numbers, which is 1 times 1, minus the product of the other diagonal numbers, which is minus 1 times 2. So this is 1 minus times a minus, which is plus 2, which is equal to 3. So in this case, the determinant of the coefficients of x and y in these two equations is equal to 3. Now, how do we find d sub x? Well, d sub x can be found by replacing the coefficients of the first column of the x variables by the two constants right here. So instead of writing 1 and 2, we're going to replace 1 and 2 by 4 and 2. So the coefficients of the x variables are going to be replaced by the constants on the right side of the equation, and we're going to call that d sub x because we're replacing the x coefficients by these two constants right there. So we write a new matrix. Instead of 1 and 2, we write 4 and 2. And of course, we keep the ones for the y the same, minus 1 and 1. And so to find the d sub x, the determinant of the matrix, by having replaced the coefficients of the x variables, we get 4 times 1 minus, minus 1 times 2, which is equal to 4, minus times a minus, which is plus 2, which is equal to 6. So d sub x is 6, d is equal to 3. One more matrix. Now we're going to take the same matrix, but instead of replacing the x coefficients, we're now going to replace the y coefficients by these two constants. That's how we find d sub y. So we take the very same matrix. We keep the first two constants right here, 1 and 2, but now we replace negative 1 and positive 1 by 4 and 2. And now we find the determinant of the sub y matrix, or the y matrix, so to speak. So in this case, that is going to be equal to 1 times 2 minus the product of those two, which is going to be 2 times 4. And so this is equal to 2 minus 8, which is equal to minus 6. So the determinant matrix, the determinant of the matrix is 3. The determinant of the matrix with the x coefficients replaced by 4 and 2 is equal to 6. And the determinant by the y coefficients being replaced by 4 and 2 is equal to minus 6. Now we can say that the x value is equal to d sub x divided by d, which is equal to 6 divided by 3, which is equal to 2. And the y value of the solution is equal to d sub y divided by d, and d sub y is a minus 6 divided by d, which is 3, which is a minus 2. So we know that x equals 2 and y equals negative 2 is the solution to that system of linear equations. And that's using Kramer's rule. A quick check to see if we're correct. If x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 2, 2 minus a minus 2 is indeed 4, so that checks out. And here, 2 times 2 is 4, plus a negative 2 is 2. That checks out as well. So these are indeed the solutions to our problem. And that's how we use Kramer's rule. Again, a quick, a quick review. You take the matrix, which, goes, which consists of the coefficients of the x and y, so which is right here, and you find the determinant, which is simply the product of the numbers this way minus the product of the numbers this way. Then you replace the x coefficients by these two constants, and you find the determinant again. We call that the d sub x. Then you replace, you put the x coefficients back. Now you replace the y coefficients by these two constants right here. You find the determinant again, and then you simply divide d sub x by d and d sub y by d to get the values for x and y. A very clever method discovered by Kramer.